Boa noite to all my friends in Brazil. My name is Micha and I want to share with you tonight a message on my heart um, from the book of John chapter 6 from verse 24. When they found him on the other side of the sea, they said to him, Rabbi, when did you come here? Jesus answered them, Truly, truly, I say to you, you are seeking me not because you saw signs, but because you ate your fill of the loaves. Jesus is saying this to the people in the crowd just after he has fed the 5,000 people. Jesus says to them, Do not labor for the food that perishes, but for the food that endures to eternal life, which the Son of Man will give to you. For on him God the Father has set his seal. Then they said to him, What must we do to be doing the works of God? Jesus answered them, This is the work of God, that you believe in him whom he has sent. And what we see here is Jesus speaking to the crowds and saying to them, People, you've got a perceived need, but I know what your true need is. Your true need is spiritual food. Your true need is Jesus as the bread of life. Later in verse 35, um, they say to him, Jesus, sir, give us this bread. And he says to them, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me shall not hunger, and whoever believes in me shall never thirst. And so sometimes in life, we meet um, people that have perceived needs. They, they think they need food, they need people, they need clothes, they need work. And all these things are true. But the deeper need that they actually need is Jesus Christ and a relationship with Him. And Jesus says in Matthew, seek first the kingdom of God and all the rest will be added to you because your Father knows what you need. And so we as Christians have such a rich uh, inheritance to give to people so that they will know that when they have a relationship with Jesus, he starts changing their perception about life. He starts giving them ideas. He starts opening doors for us so that we will not lack. The Father promises us that we will never lack. He is our shepherd. And so as young people and people of God who, who want to impart things to the world, that is what we give them. We give them Jesus. We give them that relationship. And out of that relationship, burst forth everything in this life that we need. So I challenge you tonight, go preach the gospel, preach the kingdom, take Jesus to people, say, Lord, the relationship that I have with you, I want to share so that people will in, in, um, enjoy the rich spiritual food and it will flow out into a life where Jesus is the provider and he provides for us and he blesses us. Go for that. Take Jesus and see how he changes people's lives. Amen. So let us pray and ask the Lord to give us a heart for the poor, a heart for the needy. Lord Jesus, thank you that you bless us with yourself that you bless us with a wonderful relationship with you. I pray, Lord, that you will put that fire in our hearts to go and take your love to those in need so that they will see if they seek your kingdom first, you will add all the rest to them. In the name of Jesus, amen.